The Switch has been on store shelves for the past two years going on year three. And while it's enjoying some big success in sales, some Nintendo fans are finding newfound appreciation for its predecessor, the Wii U. It may have been Nintendo's first HD console, but what really made it special was this second screen built into a full-fledged controller. Naysayers call this just a bigger DS with more horsepower, but there were games that proved this system could do things no other system could. Let's see who proved this best with a look at the top 10 Wii U games that put the gamepad to great use. To be clear, the order of this list isn't based on the quality of these games as a whole, but rather the quality of each game's gamepad functionality. What games best use the second screen to immerse players into their worlds without the need for expensive headgear? Number 10, Madden NFL 13. It's the only game in the franchise to appear on the Wii U, therefore the only game in its franchise that lets you call plays from the touchscreen. After selecting a play, you can draw out new paths for your players if you want to try something different. Sometimes that different path scores you a touchdown. Number 9, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. This Zelda game really benefited from getting an HD remaster not just for the visual improvements, but for the gamepad assisting you on your adventure. Sorting out your inventory, looking at your map, and seeing the notes for every tune to play with your Wind Waker eliminated the need to do all these things from the pause menu. It made for a more immersive and uninterrupted Zelda adventure. Such features would then go on to be used in Twilight Princess HD and the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild, and we're really glad they did. Number 8, Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater. I remember years ago making a video about how perfect a Fatal Frame game would be on this system after having played Spirit Camera on the 3DS. The Wii U gamepad is a natural fit for the Camera Obscura. The game used the gyroscopic sensors and second screen to great effect. Ghosts can get right in your face, you can feel them surround you, and oftentimes you have to turn the gamepad just right to hit a ghost's weak point. Longtime fans claim that this is not one of the best games in the series, but it's hard to argue that it's not the most immersive one. Number 7, Star Fox Guard. People figured out quickly that the Wii U gamepad would be perfect for strategy games, and while this has been demonstrated with games like Pikmin, the first game that comes to my mind is Star Fox Guard. Ironically, this game uses the gamepad better than its sibling game Star Fox Zero. You're constantly moving back and forth between the gamepad and the TV, moving cameras and shooting invading robots. It may be packaged as a bonus game, but it's an awesome game on the system all by itself. Number 6, Nintendo Land. It may be a little unfair to put a glorified tech demo on this list, but not many Wii U games use the gamepad to great effect than this surprisingly fun and charming launch game. The mini games have a lot to them, and they show off tons of ways the gamepad can be used to enhance multiplayer and single player experiences. From drawing your route in Yoshi's Fruit Cart or throwing ninja stars in Takamaru's Ninja Castle, to sneaking up on your friends in the competitive games because they now can't look at your screen. A feature that would be implemented in multiplayer shooters like Call of Duty and 007 Legends. Number 5, Affordable Space Adventures. It may surprise some people that one of the games to use the gamepad best would be an obscure indie title, but its great use of the gamepad was a key selling point. The regular sticks and buttons move your ship, or a second player moves the ship using a pro controller, while the gamepad controls several functions on your ship to keep everything in check and help you through your affordable adventure. This means adjusting different settings on your ship for solving puzzles, while also keeping your ship balanced and intact. It's definitely the kind of game that can't exist on any other system. Well, maybe the 3DS, but that's a much smaller screen. Number 4, Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. This game was already a masterpiece on other platforms, and the gamepad functionality of the Armored Edition makes it even better. You really feel immersed in Arkham City, and you feel like Batman as you use the gamepad to hack keypads, upgrade your gear, check your map and sonar in real time, manage your inventory, and more. I like that they gave Batman an arm touchscreen too, so it feels more like it's all supposed to be here as another part of his arsenal. Number 3, Deus Ex Human Revolution Director's Cut. This sci-fi action game uses the gamepad in ways we hoped Watch Dogs would. It has similar functions to Batman Arkham City, as it's your interactive map, your upgrade screen, your inventory manager, and a way to read files. It's also a way to tackle hacking minigames that are done differently than Batman. They're arguably more suspenseful and more strategic with all these tactics you can use by tapping the screen. Plus you can throw grenades back just by swiping the grenade icon up on the gamepad. Now there's a nice touch of immersion. Number 2, Wii Party U. Another seemingly strange choice because it's a family-friendly party game, but it's a party game that knows how to get a lot of fun experiences out of the gamepad's asymmetrical gameplay. It's got simple-to-play yet addicting tabletop games, Wiimote vs. gamepad minigames, and its TV party games can really get you and your friends or family engaged in a fun time. Just about every gamepad ability is used here to create a party game you can't find or play anywhere else. Number 1, Zombie U. Sure, it's not a perfect game, but its gamepad use pulls you into this apocalyptic British nightmare to create one of the most immersive and frightening survival horror experiences to date. Even just playing this bit for the footage, I felt on edge. Your gamepad is used for scanning, fast travel, a map with sonar, taking down boards, picking locks, and perhaps most importantly, inventory management. 
All of these things happen in real time, which means a zombie could sneak up on you while you're searching a crate or a body. It's great realism since you can't pause the world to go through your supplies in real life, so you have to be constantly aware of everything if you want to survive. This game was ported to the PS4 and Xbox One, but with an experience that's not nearly as seamless. So much so that other versions are missing this multiplayer mode called King of Zombies. It's another great showcase of this system's asymmetrical gameplay, as the gamepad player controls a squad of zombies who have to kill the TV player fighting as a lone survivor. Something fun to play with a friend on Halloween. Zombie U made for a great launch title to show the world of gaming what could be done with mature titles on this two-screen console. So what do you think of this list? What games do you think use the gamepad well? Let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you all next time!